This is Harry Murray at Murray's Flash Shop in Edinburgh, Virginia. I'm going to talk about cleaning a fly rod. A couple good reasons for this. One, if you're going to be using it in the winter, by cleaning it up so water does not adhere to the guides and to the rod itself, you're going to have less freeze-up problems. Another thing, it just looks better if you have the cleaner fly rod. If you're using a rod with, that you're using a floating line with, such as a dry fly trout line or a bass bug line, it's definitely going to shoot better once you've got this thing clean. When Jeff and I go out west in the fall, I take all the rods and do what I'm talking about doing with them. And we get out there, they feel like new rod, new rods, and they shoot line like crazy. The first thing I do is I get either ivory cake soap or dial cake soap and just wash down the whole rod with a paper towel up and down and up and down. Now I'm real careful to wash in and around the guides. I want to really scrub those with an old toothbrush to get the dirt that is built up under there. So I do each one of the guides that way while it's still wet now, still got soap on it, and then while I've got my toothbrush, this one I haven't cleaned since last year as you can tell, I go back and I scrub that grip and I scrub the real seat just to make it look better. I don't think it's going to catch any more fish. But now scrubbing the rod down is important. After I've scrubbed it down with the soap, then I've got a sink right in front of me here. I go under that sink water with running water and rinse, rinse, rinse all of the sections. This happens to be the Murray Mountain Trout Rod, so it's a three-piecer. I go in and I rinse all of that soap off of it, and then I get a paper towel and dry that off as thoroughly as I can, especially up under the guides. I dry that real good, even dry the grip off. Then. I allow time for it to become completely dry. I set this over in the rod rack I have in the corner for about three or four days so it's completely dry. Then I go back to the, the scientific anger line dressing I really like for this. I put about four or five drops of scientific anger line dressing on there and then just rub the whole rod. You'd be amazed what it looks like when you get through doing this. It looks like a new rod up and down, up and down, and especially in around the guides. I'll rub that real well, if, especially if I'm going to be shooting, uh, fishing in the winter. Rub that real good. Then I get, after I've done all three sections, I get a dry paper towel and go back and rub that down real good. Act like I'm trying to rub every bit off of it. And that will be very clean, very smooth, shoot line like crazy. Then I set it over in the corner again to dry off for about a day, put it back in the sack, back in the aluminum tube, and I'm ready to go next spring.